I think you want to you, you go in with two things in hand. One is you've done some homework and you've looked at what you want in your life, you think you want, and, and tried to find a good match. That's the key of any event is to match what you want and what they want. So if the clearer you are on what you want and, the much, and as much homework as you can do as what, what they want and then, and then you know, look for every opportunity to make sure that, those, that that's conveyed, that you validate what they are and, the, and you give them a chance to validate what you are. I think that's the overall framework you should have. Then I think the other part of it is you need to go in, even if you have your list, you need to have an openness to anything else in the world. Because there's so, so many times, you know, a first time person will go in and they'll, they'll done their homework and really know who they want and they'll get up and they're all excited and then the job's already been filled. Or they didn't even come to the fair and they get this, this despondent sense of frustration and, and, and failure. But other people come, or even those same people, after a few minutes of dealing with that, I guess, they look around and go, oh, look, there's, you know, 800 jobs here, and I only need one. And so, you know, then you sort of broaden, I've seen candidates broaden their, their, their scope, and, um, and, and it's amazing the kind of fits you get eventually, you know, that, that you would not expect. So openness to that, homework in advance and openness. And then I think Network all you can while you're in line and while you're at the social events and as you're sitting in the candidate lounge. Just talk to people. You can, you can gather a lot of the experienced educators who've done this a few times. They tap into that network of other educators uh, very, very directly. And I think that is, that's a key. That's really important. And then um, be yourself in the interview. Listen as much as you talk. I mean... Listen to the question. Don't just have a script that you're going to say. Listen to what the person's asking. Um, be thoughtful. Um, and add as much concrete texture to your answer as you can. Just using code words is... It, most recruiters glaze over and they, they see that for just code words. If you have stories, anecdotes that are real and show that you have done this and you're, you, know, you know how to do this, that's, that's really important, too, if you get an opportunity to do that. And think of it as a two-way interaction, because you're both learning. You're both seeking information. You're both going to have to make a decision, perhaps. So.